Hey everyone, my name is Elliot, and today I'll be showing you how we can use the table search method to search through a table on user input. I'll run the service now to show you what that looks like. You can see on the page we have a table with a bunch of different address records. So we have street, city, state, zip code. And at the top here we have a input for where we can type in text. So if I type in, let's say California, Notice that with every keystroke, the states are filtered based on where they meet the criteria of what's typed in. So CA, the Carolina has a CA right here, and then obviously California has CA as well. And if I narrow it down more, you can see that the Carolina disappeared when I had the L added. And so this provides a useful feature to sort through data quickly. Also you'll see that there's these arrows on the, each one of the record columns. So if I click on this arrow, it'll sort the records alphabetically. I'll now show you how you can create this coach view. If we dive into the coach view on the... You'll see that there's a vertical layout on the outside. Inside, we have a horizontal layout. And then within the horizontal layout, we have an input group with an input group nested inside of it and then a text control and then we have a service data table with four output texts within it for the variables we do not have any defined before we go ahead and search through the table we first need to define the data within the service data table to do this we make a custom ajax service that gets passed in within the behavior dropdown of the configuration options. Here we named ours populate addresses. Within our populate addresses AJAX service we have an initialization script that uses a results data object of type address which is also a list and then within each one of the list items we define a new address and then pass into each parameter various data. And then the data gets passed into the service data table and populates it. Within the columns configuration option, we have all four of the columns of the service data table defined here with their element names, rendering them as simple HTML so they're not views, and then making them sortable by checking this box here. The text control where we enter in the state name is nested within two input group controls. Within the input group control we have one to the left and then one to the right. Here we choose the button to be on the left so the icon of the bank shows on the left side and then for the next one we have the opposite. We have the icon button location being on the right and then we have it being under the name search. The search and bank are references to the icons that are used in Font Awesome. So you can go to this website here and under icons you can see a list of all different types of icons you can use. So in our case we're using bank so if I type in bank you can see here it is the icon we wanted to see. Nested within the input group controls the text control here and the text control calls a function on its on input event meaning when user input is provided. Here we're, we're referencing the service data table control ID and then calling the search method passing in to potential true and true. If you want to know why we pass in these four parameters you can go ahead and look at our JS documentation for the service data table and the text control. You can find both within our support site at support.salientprocess.com forward slash spark dash UI dash controls where you'll have a list of all the Spark controls available. Here's the service data table. You can click on JS documentation to see that or you can look at an article describing how it works. We're going to click on JS doc and then within here you can see that we have a list of all of the methods available for the control as well as configuration options. We go down to search and then within the search method now you can see what those four parameters are. 
By using the built-in search method, the developer is able to provide complex functionality with easy development. This concludes today's demo. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day.